Moving on, and Israeli forces have killed a Palestinian during fighting in the city of Jericho in the occupied West Bank. Israel says a female soldier was wounded during the violence. Meanwhile, the UN wants the Israeli authorities to investigate another incident that took place in Hebron last month. Five Palestinian women were reportedly subjected to abuse by female soldiers who forced them to take off their clothes during a surge. Well, in the north of the occupied West Bank, Israeli forces have carried out a raid on the city of Jenin. There were reports of gunfire as dozens of armored vehicles moved through the city. The Palestinian Al-Aqsa Martyrs Brigade says one of its leaders has been arrested. Well, let's speak to Paul Brennan. He's in Ramallah in the occupied West Bank. Paul, I believe this was a brief but rather heavily armed raid in Jenin. Certainly, yes. And the second one in a week, uh, which kind of is raising tension, certainly here in the occupied West Bank. Uh, the raid itself began just after nine and was all over by around 10. But nevertheless, the brevity of it uh, does not undermine the importance of it. The Israeli forces arrested a senior leader uh, within the Al-Aqsa Brigade. That's the uh, armed wing of Fatah. His name is Mohammed Nagnagia. He's well known to the authorities. He's served multiple uh, prison terms for various uh, shootings and weapons offences, but at the same time he's also um, played a role in the Palestinian Authority's security and intelligence apparatus. So, you know, it shows you the blurred lines sometimes that there are in these parts of the world. And, and coming so soon after Monday's raid in the same area of Jenin, uh, that raid targeting uh, Hamas operatives uh, within the Jenin camp, um, there is the growing tension that two months after the big raids of July, the big raid of July, um, the tension is ramping up again. Um, I put one note of caution on that. The, the impression that we have certainly here in Ramallah is these were more opportunist raids, perhaps acting on specific intelligence to arrest specific people. Um, but nonetheless, the fact that the Israeli army goes in in this manner raises the tension. Uh, Paul, as you alluded to there, tensions feel like they're mounting across the occupied West Bank with several incidents. Should we make anything of that? Well, certainly the number of people killed by Israeli forces in the occupied territories is now fast approaching 200. I think the latest count was 197 as of this morning. Uh, and the memories of that July 3rd raid into the Jenin camp are both recent and very raw indeed. 13 Palestinians lost their lives. Nine of them were fighters. More than 100 people were wounded in that particular Israeli army operation. And the, as you say, the, the, the tension that that puts into the already strained relations, uh, but also into the way that the Palestinian Authority tries to uh, liaise and, and govern and police uh, the Jenin area. It, it certainly increases the tension. It doesn't make it easy for anybody in this, in this particular part of the world.